Okay, so we are here at Mills Block and today is April 15th. It's 9.30 at night. Why are we here? Well, we're here to do an owl prowl or just a survey to see if we can find any owls calling. Uh, April is the best month to find owls or hear owls in northwestern Ontario because that's when they're back. They're just now setting up territories. So they really like to defend their territories by announcing to the world that they, um, this is my territory, so they should be, if they're here, they should be calling. So this is a good spot for potentially boreal owl, northern sawwet owl, and barred owl. So one of the three, or all three, could be here calling tonight. And that's, we're going to try to target two of them. We're going to try targeting boreal owl and the barred owl. So again, it's just after 9.30, it's just got dark. Some of the background noises from other birds, like the Canada geese, have now gone quiet. The American robin has now gone quiet. So hopefully, it's, it's a nice calm night. There's no wind, very little traffic on the road. So hopefully we can hear some things. All right, so what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to play the sound and the call of a boreal owl. And I'm going to start with a smaller. They're one of the smaller owls we have. And I'm going to start with a smaller owl versus going with the barred owl, which is much bigger and more intimidating to a, bar, a boreal owl. So let's start with something small. So I'm okay. going to play the call okay. of the boreal owl. Good. So Brian, you'd mentioned that um, you play the call and you just maybe play it once, maybe twice, and then you wait and listen. How long would you wait and listen for? Well, Is it worthwhile I, to stay stay yeah. for ten minutes or? Yeah, five or ten minutes. If you don't get a response, um, chances are they're not going to respond. So I would then move on to another location. Yeah. And hopefully you have better luck here. So we've done it here in the parking lot to start with. So what we'll do is we'll walk in 400 meters to the next beaver pond and we'll just go and we'll do some passive listening in there. We'll see if we can find them in there. Yeah. Okay. And maybe they're just not calling tonight, but who knows? We may hear some other sounds yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. So the reason to play the call um, is that these owls will respond to another owl in their territory. So. One of the things you want to do when you're doing an owl survey or an owl prowl is to use the callback that we're playing very little, just one or two calls and then shut it down because you really don't want to agitate these birds when you're out here. So it's best just to see if you get a response and if you don't then move on, maybe try another location. So we've listened to the boreal owl. So now I'm going to, we've listened uh, passively to see if we hear anything. We haven't got any response. So now I'm going to try the barred owl and see what happens there. So one second. So tonight we chose to come to, to Mills Block, but we could have also gone to one of the other conservation areas. And you were saying at yeah, Hazelwood. Yeah, Hazelwood conservation is pretty good too. Um, um, 
those th up there, I would try listening for the barred owl. There's been a pair of barred owls up there for a number of years, so hopefully they're still there and they should be calling. And another species to look for there would be the northern sawwet owl, which sounds like a municipal truck that's backing up that beep, 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 <laughs> beep. And it just goes on and on and on and on. So it's very repetitive, yeah. but it's but it really pierces the night sky and you can hear them from a, a good distance. For a little small little owl, um, they sure make a, uh, a big noise. Yeah. So that's something up at Hazelwood. So it'd be just from the parking lot there would be a good place just to sit just at dark and listen. And you might get lucky there too. Awesome. Now, if someone wanted to get to know their owl sounds before heading out, what site do you recommend? Uh, probably one of the better ones is one called um, the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology. Yeah. And you can just type in all about birds. Mm -hmm. And that will take you to their website. And you can just type in the species barred owl. Yeah. And it'll bring you up all the information about barred owls you want to know. Yeah. And it's also got sounds. So you can just click on the sounds and it'll come up with the different calls mm -hmm. of a barred owl from the adults. Even right down, I think it's got the chicks food begging down on there too. So, yeah, yeah. So you have a variety of the different calls from all over North America. The barred owls, they're all similar, but slightly different. Right. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, that's a good, that's a good place to study. So we've arrived at the pond, second pond. Yeah, so we've come here. Um, it's a nice wide open space. So if there's any owls calling across the beaver pond, we sh hopefully should be able to hear. Um, so it's just a matter of now listening at this new spot and we'll stay for five minutes and see what we can hear and then we'll move on again and see what we can find. And one of the reasons we're doing it middle of April is because a lot of the background noise you're going to get as the spring advances because we're just starting to hear frogs calling, wood frogs. And in another week, this is going to be overpowering with wood frogs calling <laughs> yeah. so there's going to be a lot of background noise with them and you're not going to hear or it's going to be more difficult hearing the frogs calling so finding a quiet time just before the frogs come out is really ideal i thought i heard something in the distance there So we're back at the parking lot of Mills Block and we were just chatting about why we had decided to film here. And so, yes, yeah, so the reason I came here is about uh, 10 days ago, um, a boreal owl was heard here, just a dark, just close to here, within a couple hundred meters of here. So hopefully um, we we're within its home range, its territory, and it would have been out calling tonight because we've just gone through a bit, about a week of sort of rainy, dark, um, miserable weather so if this is the first clear night since this, this sort of the last storms have gone through so I was hoping this would be a good night to be out and but uh, maybe the bird is the other side of its territory calling uh, a kilometer yeah. away yeah and um, that's where it's calling tonight not here so. yeah so maybe another night we'll forgive it <laughs>